Recently, Elegoo announced a new series of 3D printers, including the Elegoo Mars 4 and the 4 Ultra, which are now sporting 9K resolution monoscreen displays, and they actually print faster than any of the previous Mars 3D printers, including my previous favorite 3D printer, the Elegoo Mars 3. Yeah, originally I was just gonna kinda yeet this off the screen, but there's no way I'm just gonna toss this 3D printer. And you might be wondering, what are the differences between the two Mars 4 3D printers? Because visually, they look very similar. However, there are definitely some differences between the standard four and the Mars 4 Ultra that you'll want to consider. We have the Mars 4 Ultra is going to have the black acrylic display. The Mars 4 is going to be sporting the standard Mars red top here. Now, once we get into this though, they are looking at some slight differences between the two, but the build volumes are very similar between both models of these 3D printers with a build volume of 153.36 by 77.76 by 165 on the Mars 4 Ultra versus the 170 75 on the Mars 4. Both printers are also sporting the carbon filters, which is great to help filter out any stinky resins that you might be working with. They also both have the laser etched build plate surfaces that are on the new Elegoo resin 3D printers that seem to work extremely well. One of the key differences between the standard 4 and the 4 Ultra is going to be the build plate. They are the exact same size. However, the Mars 4 has the ball joint design, whereas the Mars 4 Ultra has the four points of articulation support there, bolts that you're gonna be bolting in when it comes to leveling these 3D printers. There's no auto leveling on either of these machines, which I'd love to see in a future version. But this four point bolt system is what I believe a lot of people consider a more reliable way to maintain the level of your build plate, which is why the ultra version is sporting this versus the old ball joint design that we have on the four. And the vats are almost identical other than the film that's pre-installed in them. On the Mars 4, you have a PFA film. In the Mars 4 Ultra, you have the ACF film to help with that high speed printing that the Mars 4 Ultra can definitely do. Both machines have screen protectors installed on them to help prevent any sort of resin leakage accidents that might occur when printing. Both units also have the Cobb light source and the 4 Ultra it also has a Cobb plus Fresnel display. I still don't quite know how all that technology works, but it works extremely well. And when it comes to slicing files, both of the printers work with Chi2Box, Lychee, and Voxel Dance. However, one of the big differences between the two is the Mars 4, you can only load up files via the USB stick on the front of the machine, as well as on the Mars 4 Ultra, it's now sporting the same Wi-Fi file transfer technology that we saw on the Saturn 3 Ultra, and I absolutely love how well it works. Currently, it's only available in Chi2Box. However, it's now gonna be available very soon with the recent updates that have been provided to Lychee. One other really cool thing is that Elegoo has fully adopted the new .goo file formatting that when you go and slice your files, that's the formatting that's gonna be provided to you for these. It's an open source file format, so it should work with any resin 3D printing slicer that wants to work with it, which is fantastic to see. Also, one other minor difference between the two is the interface is slightly different between both of the machines. Nothing major or vastly different between the two, but it's just a one thing I wanted to call out that the interface is slightly different on the 4 Ultra compared to the 4. Now let's take a look at some of the prints that I've gotten off of these 3D printers, and I wouldn't be starting things off if I didn't print a Photos Mint bust in resin here. So this is his Odin bust that I printed on the Mars 4, and it just so happens that it printed in exactly four hours and two minutes. So not exactly the fastest, but I was still messing around with the settings for the first handful of prints here while working with this. Everything that I'm printing is at 0.05 millimeter layer height as well. Now I then wanted to mix things up and print some really big things, so I tried tried to run off and print this dagger from Loot Studios. And I was able to print the hilt in one piece directly on the Mars 4's build volume, which pretty much maximized everything that I could fit on there. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit the full blade inside the build volume of the resin printer. I really tried, I really tried. So I ended up having to fit this on the Saturn 3 Ultra. And I think overall, the results look pretty spectacular for this. I am gonna try and get this thing painted painted as well over the next few days and do a little rub and buff action on it. I also did a live stream last week where I was live 3D printing this Blue Beetle 
emblem crest thing here from Nico Industries. This took one hour and I think 40 minutes to print on the Mars 4. This print is so dang clean. I just love how all the details turned out on this. And for that same live stream, I went off and printed this Nightwing mask from Nico Industries. And I think it was like a three hour print. If I remember correctly, I completely maximized the build surface area of this, probably a little too much and probably could have supported this and angled it slightly better to help reduce some of the layering effects on some of the edges of the mask. But overall, a really clean looking print. Also just a tip, if you're planning on resin 3D printing masks or anything that you're gonna wear, make sure you actually paint them or anything like that so that you're not directly putting resin, even if it's cured, directly on the surface of your skin and wearing it around or anything like that. Uh, another great option for things like this, this mask would actually be casting it and creating silicone versions of the actual print. And for the Mars 4 Ultra, I printed this bust from Loot Studios in multiple pieces because they were so many and so large, including the base for this, and it turned out incredible. Again, loving how crisp and clean the details are off of this 9K resolution 3D printer. Now, I print almost everything at 0.05 layer height. However, I wanted to drop things down to 0.02 and print a 75 millimeter scale version of that dwarf figure there, and it it turned out great. However, I think my exposure settings still need to be tweaked a good bit for the Soriatek Fast Resin because it just seems to be a bit more overexposed where I thought the details were gonna look a little bit sharper than what I'm seeing here. And speaking of going down in resolution, I actually went the opposite way and went up to 0.1 layer height and printed some miniatures here just to see how they would turn out. And I think it was like a 32 minute print job. Now, obviously the print quality isn't gonna be as good as a 0.0 five layer height, which I also printed of the same set of files, or at a 0 0.02 layer height, which again, I also printed at for the same set of files so that we could do a quick comparison here. And you can really see some of the differences when going from a 0.1, which is gonna print obviously super fast compared to a 0 0.05 layer height. Unfortunately, again, I think at the lowest setting there of 0 0.02 that I printed at, again, I just need to further refine the exposure settings because these prints, again, still look like they're a bit overexposed at the lower setting. Now, I also tried printing this Lilith statue that I found over on printables, and unfortunately, I broke the wings that were on the one side. I dropped it and some of the other parts. I couldn't get just adhered correctly onto the statue. This was printed across both the 4 and the 4 Ultra in this uh, fast, creamy resin. And again, I think the print results look pretty dang good for this print off of both of these machines. And speaking of Lilith, I also printed this Lilith head that was shared by Prash Makes over on Printables. That's a free download for you to run off and print for yourself. And again, stunning print results here. And I think this took like an hour or less for it to print at 0 0.05 layer height. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, more than likely you've heard me talk about how much I love the Elegoo Mars 3. Previously, this was my favorite resin 3D printer. It just prints fast, print quality's great, it's affordable. And now with the Mars 4, I wanted to run off and and test how well this could print against my favorite Mars 3. And I'm honestly super impressed with how well these files printed across all of the machines. And this Dark Souls statue was created by Dante Zuck and is over again, over on printables for you to download for free, pre-supported by Charo Zuck, who does a lot of photos mints, pre-supported files as well. And they all look amazing coming off of all three of these 3D printers. However, what's really impressive is the print times. Now I use the exact same resin and the exact same settings across all three machines for these 3D prints, and I was using the Elegoo 8K resin for this. And the Mars 3 took four hours for its print and looks fantastic, while the Mars 4 took three and a half hours for it to print, and the Mars 4 Ultra, again, using the exact same settings, exact like everything, the exact same, came in at two hours and 45 minutes, something crazy like that. What's even crazier to me is, again, I think the exposure settings need to be even further refined and lowered for the four printers here. So the Mars 4 and the 4 Ultra for this particular resin. The 2.2 second exposure time works great for the Mars 3. However, it needs to go even lower for these other two machines. So those times could even fall further than what I saw here with the 
these 3D prints. And I also wanna say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. Obviously the makers of the Mars 4 and the Mars 4 Ultra. The Mars 4, you're gonna be able to find over on Elegoo's website for pre-order coming in at $259 for this 9K resolution 3D printer. And the 4 Ultra is coming in at $309, which also has, again, that Wi-Fi fast file transfer and just incredible print speeds compared to all of the other Mars 3D printers. If you're interested in more information about any of the machines that Elgu has recently announced, you can definitely find more information about those linked below. And while these printers are absolutely amazing, and I would totally consider picking one up if you're in the market for a new resin 3D printer. There are a few little quirks that I ran into while working with these machines that I wanted to call out. The first of which being the new build plate design here on the 4 Ultra that has the four bolts. Resin gets stuck in the uh, the top vertical bolts there on the build plate. So just something to be aware of when working with the machine. The other is that on both the 4 and the 4 Ultra, this is gonna be, I think, a firmware update to fix this. But when you go to select a file, it displays an image of whatever it is that you're about to print, it's actually sideways or upside down. So they're gonna fix that. And then the last one is, again, not a deal breaker by any means, but they've added a beeping sound to the four. Whenever it homes the build plate, there's a beeping sound that's added to it. I haven't quite figured out if there's a way to disable that or not, but it's just not anything that I've seen on any of the other Mars 3 printers. I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs. I'm currently working on my profiles for the new Mars 4 and the Mars 4 Ultra. And I just recently saw that Lychee now has support for both of these machines and I'm gonna be working on some profiles for these printers. Let me know what you all think about the Mars 4 and the 4 Ultra and if there's anything you'd like to see me print on either of these machines. I have a really funny feeling that the 4 Ultra will quickly become my new go-to resin 3D printer thanks to the Wi-Fi, the 9K resolution, and the extremely fast 3D printing that I haven't even fully unlocked yet. You'll definitely be seeing some more content coming from me on this machine. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time.